a new weekend, a new bucket adventure. We're going out to Sycamore Creek today, and guess what? You guessed it. We're meeting up with more Broncos. Let's go. It's a beautiful day. At this point, it was about 75 degrees. I had the top flip back, wind in my face, and I was super excited to get there. They're just clouds, but they're low hanging and they look pretty awesome. We don't get that many of them out here. As always, I have my evil sidekick Skeletor along for the ride with me. So far, he hasn't done any complaining. Leave no man behind. You guys ready? For a fun day? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Look at all these pretty Broncos. There's the Velocity Blue Group. <laughs> now that we had all done our meet and greet, aired down and chatted for a while, it was time to hit the actual trail. There were quite a few of us that were first timers for this trail. So we were very anxious to get going and knock some of that clean off of our Broncos. It was originally anticipated that four or five Broncos were going to show up. But guess what? We had 12. Yes, 12. Pretty awesome. Good job, man. Out here, I just turned my brightness all the way up. Adaptive, yeah. Good job, guys. To tip or not to tip? That is the question. You sure? Yeah. All right. Thanks, hey, guys. Look at my ass. <laughs> you can look at mine. <laughs>
This, this awesome obstacle right here is what I was looking forward to the most to climb today. Kind of looks like a giant slapped his hand on top of the hill and left outlines of his fingers. So there we all were, all taking a peek at this giant handprint on the side of the hill, wondering whether or not some of us were going to do it. For some of the less experienced of the group, you could tell that they were nervous. And they're off. Carrie, our fearless leader for the day, had been out here many times before, so she was going to lead the first few Broncos up the obstacle. As the first few Broncos made their way, I of course wanted to get some drone footage. But don't worry, we'll get to me going up the hill later. This flyover will give you a much better idea of what the obstacle itself is like. I'll be honest, when you're standing on the ground down below it, it does look kind of intimidating. But once you step on that fuel and climb that hill, you'll see you had absolutely nothing to worry about. Actually pretty easy. My time has come. Are you ready? Cause here I go.
got to get a picture on a rock. Of course. And there it is. Get up there. I was going to do that too. Drivers, drivers. There you go. Perfect. But you can see where the debris is up on the wall over there. It gets flowing that deep through here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So last night, train went Did you guys put the hitch on? Uh, the winch on?
in the Bronco? No. Nope. No. <laughs> I've done it probably 30, 40 times. Yeah. All in Jeep. So, being an ex Jeeper, what do you think about the Bronco? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's amazing right? because it comes, it's ready right off the yeah. bat. I like Jeeps too, don't get me wrong, but everybody has a freaking Jeep. Oh. How many more we got up there? Three? Oh no, one, two, three, four, at least four I see. You know, I gotta say, man, I really like the look of those steelies. <laughs> yeah. One more. Here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheels. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. He's gaining on you, so you better look alive. He's busy revving up the powerful Mach 5. And when the odds are against him and there's dangerous work to do, bet your life's in Good job! Oh, wild herd! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe you should have laid it though. So, so one time we brought a group out, and there was just enough water, and they all backed up like this. I'm like, and that was the trail, the tail. It's just so tempting, I can't. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Look down. Somebody lost a big old buoy like just sticking straight up. Oh, that's not good. I caught a screw on one of these trails once. Oh, yeah. we, we showed up out here and a Jeep was had a flat tire. No pump. Gotta have a plug kit. <laughs> no, no. Plug kit, compressor, you know, you at least gotta have that. <laughs> So this is Mike. He was a solo Bronco driver out here, and he stumbled upon us. <laughs> Say hello, Mike. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> About the first time you've seen this many in the Well, it was a great day as usual. Everyone's airing back up. We had an amazing time. Everyone did awesome. Sycamore Creek Run.
And that's going to do it. Man, what an amazing day. We had an excellent group of people out there, and I don't think I could have had any more fun than I did. I want to give a big shout out to our fearless leader, Carrie Charbonneau, for leading the pack and showing us all a good time today. Thank you for watching, and join me next time on Bucking Life, where I live my life one bucking adventure at a time. Till next time. Thank you.